How long is a mortgage pre-approval good for? Is that like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? Hey, it's Craig back with another Mortgage Minute, and I want to go over this one question because we get this a lot, um, and there's a ton of misunderstanding out there about mortgage approvals. I've heard some people say, well, an approval is good for 30 days or uh, an approval is good for 90 days, um, and then a lot of times you will hear an approval is good for 120 days, and that's probably the closest to the correct answer. Um, but I'm going to answer it two ways. So the first way I'm going to say is an, a mortgage pre-approval is good for 120 days. Why do we say that? Because that's how long a credit report is good for. So if uh, we've got a situation to where um, we've got someone that's that's approved and their credit report is now 122 days old, we would have to get a current copy of that person's credit report. Okay. But when we say that an approval is good for 120 days, that gives this false impression that um, that means, hey, this person's approved. Anything in the world could change and they're still approved for 120 days. But then after 120 days, they're no longer approved. And, and that's not how it works. So here's the best way to think about a mortgage pre-approval. A mortgage pre-approval is good as long as your information doesn't change and as long as loan guidelines don't change. OK, so what do we mean by that? Well, if I've approved somebody for an FHA loan and uh, the federal government comes out a week later and says, by the way, we're doing away with the FHA program, which that's not going to happen. Don't panic. But if that were to happen, guess what? All those pre-approvals that uh, lenders have done on FHA loans, they're null and void because that, that loan is no longer around. Right. Um, so that's the situation where as long as loan guidelines don't change or if it's a situation where we've pre-approved somebody for zero down and then the program changes and says, well, it's no longer zero down payment. You've got to put down 5%. Well, anybody that was approved zero down that can't put down the 5%, guess what? They're no longer approved. Now, again, those are far-fetched examples. That's not likely to happen. But the other way to think about it is. Um, your approval is good as long as your information doesn't change. So what do we mean by that? Well, even if someone's approved and even if their credit report is going to expire in 120 days, and if they need a longer time period, all we do is just get a current copy of the credit report. It's not a big deal. So in most instances, somebody's going to be approved as long as they need it. Um, I've, I've literally had situations to where we we started working with a client three years ago. They have yet to find a home. They are still approved with us so they could make the claim that, hey, I've been approved for three years. Now, we had to update their approval along the way, but that's no big deal. So if you're someone that's thinking about buying a home and you think, oh, I, I need to wait to get pre-approved because I don't want to do it too soon. You cannot get pre-approved too soon. I'm going to say that one more time. You cannot get pre-approved too soon. You can wait until it's too late and then you don't give yourself an opportunity to maybe maximize on your approval or potentially maximize on your credit score because you're just sitting around waiting to get pre-approved. So if you're thinking about it, go ahead and get pre-approved. If you want to talk about that, give me a call 615-498-5626 and I appreciate you watching.